It's an old building, about 35,000 square foot building. And Ed Valick and his I Build PDX team are making sure it will stay standing in the kind of mega earthquake scientists say could strike the Pacific Northwest at any time. Old brick that has no re reinforcing in it. So if there's any kind of earthquake, you know, it would just crumble and the whole building would fall apart. It is not an easy task. It will take seven months of work and roughly two million dollars to seismically upgrade the building. A huge expense, especially when you consider the average cost of a professional seismic retrofit on a home is a few thousand dollars. There's a lot going on here, yeah. But once finished, the building will be turned into apartments where residents can sleep soundly knowing all the work that went into it. Work that starts from the foundation and goes up from there. Using a maze of rebar and concrete, crews build massive foot-wide walls inside existing walls. The new walls are fastened to the old ones so that when the ground starts shaking, those now reinforced walls will stay standing. This is the existing concrete uh, wall that the building was constructed um, initially. And, and then this is the new thickness of the wall that we're actually constructing from the basement all the way up. You know, Valak worries if the city passes an ordinance mandating all old brick building owners do this kind of work, there will be a lot of them that won't be able to afford it. I think it's going to raise a financial challenge, you know, for the, uh, for the uh, owners of these, of these old brick buildings. We're trying to find options to help building owners. The city of Portland says any plan requiring seismic upgrades on old brick buildings is at least a year out. In the meantime, it is looking at options to help building owners pay for this kind of work to be done. It can include uh, tax incentives, it can include a revolving loan fund, there are a whole bunch of different options, but we need to come up with those options before putting a mandate on the books. Now again, the city says it would likely be up to a year, possibly even longer, before the council adopts any sort of seismic upgrade ordinance. But it says something needs to be done to make sure these more than 1,600 old brick buildings in the city are safe. In Southwest Portland, Keeley Chalmers, KGW News.